What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Landaris. You already know. L&L mm -hmm. &L Line Service, Kansas City, Missouri, Blue Springs area. Mm -hmm. Back at you. Well, guys, I just wanted to make a quick video on pricing your lawns. Now, if you were like me, once the season starts, you got to figure out what type of price range you're going to start or you want to charge your customers. Uh, and that could be overwhelming sometimes because you just don't know, especially if you're just starting out and you have no clue, um, I'll give you a couple of things that I did when I first started out that'll probably help you out in uh, trying to figure out uh, pricing your lawns. So uh, the first thing that I did when I was starting to try to figure things out was uh, I went on YouTube. I watched a lot of videos, a ton of videos, to the point that, man, I was so overwhelmed and I was just like, either I'm gonna keep watching videos or I'm gonna go out there and do it. So that's the first step. You gotta get out there and do it. Then you gotta figure out how you want to, uh, what type of customers you're looking for. Now, when you first start out, you want, you just want the work, right? You want the work and um, you do, you just take on the work. If you, and it starts off with that one customer. Once you get that one customer, then that confidence will build. That's the, that's the best feeling when you get that first customer or that first couple of calls or, you know, your first one or two customers then you know it's it's real. Um, so, um, but you gotta know the pricing. So the first thing that I did was, like I said, I went on YouTube, watched a ton of videos. Now in the videos, I kind of found out that a lot of uh, videos didn't tell you exactly, you know, the prices because they say, well, if you're in this state is this, if you're in this state is that if you're in this region it could be this price so and you have a lot of people that don't want to tell the price because people watch their videos they feel like competition is going to look either undercut them or things like that or go a little bit lower or they just going to know that price range so they don't give out that information there are a couple that will give you a grid on how they charge and things like that so uh, you just got to find them on YouTube. You got to do a lot of research. But I'm going to tell you what I did. Um, I watched a lot of videos. Then after I watched videos, um, I just went online, Google, whatever the thing is. And I punched in uh, lawn care prices uh, in my area. And I typed it in and it spit out... Um, prices uh, matter of fact I still have them uh, let's see hold up bear with me bear with me I still got all my papers and stuff that when I first started out all the clips and things like that and you could do this. You could do this with a lot of your services, like um, like like this. So it spits it out. It'll show like this one says, you know, what uh, I was looking up snow removal. Uh, what does it cost to remove snow, whether it's residential or commercial? And it'll spit out uh, something. Here's another one. Uh, what is aeration? When I was trying to figure out what aeration was, and then it goes into how much aeration is cost and things like that, and uh, how much uh, professionals um, uh, charge you 
uh, and we all are professionals once we start getting into this realm and having a business and stuff. Um, but um, it, it tells you it's so easy these days. So once you get that price point, let me see if I can find the ones that says uh, uh, cutting grass. See, here's another one, residential lawn applications. Uh, what else did I look up? I did a lot of research. I did a lot of research before I jumped out there. But, uh, oh, here he is. Right here. Lawn care cost and prices. And it's, uh, trying to see what I did. It says Pro Matcher on here. So somehow I got online, I looked, it came up with this, and then spit out these. See? And f fertilizing, things like that. So, in, um, in the lawn care world, you could just go online and check it out. You see those prices? These prices and stuff. This is for uh, fertilizing your lawns. This is for mowing and maintenance right here. So $39.70 per visit for one-fourth acre. And then it tells you the price range. $35.68 to $43.71 for a, a, a fourth of an acre. A half of an acre, you should be charging. Now, you got to remember... This is six years ago, though, that I had these papers. And a half an acre was 46 bucks, things like that. So, that being said, um, that being said, you go online. Now, you even got Google. Check this out. Hey, Google. What's the price of lawn care in Blue Springs, Missouri? I found a few lawn care services near Blue Springs. The first one is L&L &L Lawn Service. The second one is Repo Lawn and Maintenance. L&L &L Lawn Service. Lawn and Landscape LLC at 1130 28th Street, Blue Springs. Oh, I got to hear that again. Okay, Google, turn it up three notches. Wow. Okay, Google, what's the average lawn care price in Blue Springs? Sorry, I don't have any information about that. Okay, wait. Okay, Google, what are the lawn care professionals in Blue Springs? I found a few lawn care services near Blue Springs. The first one is L&L &L Lawn Service. The second one is L&L &L Lawn Care at 1001 That's Southeast Eagle Drive, That's Blue Springs. Too. The third one is Iconic Lawn and Tree at 605 two. SW East U.S. Highway 40 Suite 115, Blue Springs. Two. Okay. Okay, Google. How much does it cost to get your lawn maintenance? I might be asking it wrong. On the website bobvilla.com, they say, typically, lawn care will cost anywhere from $48 to $211. Do you want a little more context? Yes. Typically, lawn care will cost anywhere from $48 to $211. The average cost is about $129. Lawn mowing can run $25 to $150 per week, with a national average of about $45. So national the average price fluctuates depending on the size of the yard, the frequency of mowing, and the services included. Thank you, Google. There you go. Easy. So you take those prices, you kind of figure out what type of uh, customer base you want to deal with. And you'll figure this out as you go, especially if you're a beginner. You're going to be trying to take on work, get your name out there. So most likely in the beginning, you're going to be taking on work that you're going to have to put in the work. Just put it like that. So if 
the average is about $45, it said. So you can start right there. Your average price of cutting lawns is $45 minimum. And then it goes up depending on fences, um, you know, uh, how much you got to weed eat, uh, the terrain of the turf, got hills, uh, some spots you can't get into, things like that kind of varies of how you're going to price. So, um, yeah, so the average price to start doing lawns for you, if you're just starting out, go ahead and do $45 right there. Now, you might bump it down a little bit, just a little, because you want to be not the low, you want to be in the middle, or you want to be a little bit higher. So when you first starting out, you might have to go a little low until you get that customer base, until people start noticing your brand, noticing your name, the word is getting out, uh, and, and going that route. Um, and then you can start determining what your minimum price is, what your top price is. Uh, what type of customers you want to deal with. So average $45, right? Take that and run with it. Another thing you can do, you can also, uh, if you see a lawn care provider, you can also, hell, stop them. Uh, if you see them at the gas station, a thing like that, go walk over there to them. Majority of the lawn care companies are nice. Um, you might get some pushback, you know, because they don't, they don't want to tell the prices because they're real competitive and they don't want to tell you that. But heck, you can always talk to, majority of the time, you're talking to some of the workers. You're not talking to the boss and all that stuff uh, or the field, field um, or the um, uh, the crew lead or whatever. You just talk to the regular people. I did this before too. It was at the gas station and I asked, you know, what's the average price of um, uh, that they're paying their workers? And I asked the average price of what do they charge per yard? And they said that they do 50 bucks. So it's a bigger company, but they do 50 bucks. Uh, and uh, you can get that way. You can go up to a lawn care provider and ask them, hey, what, do, what price range is the Blue Springs area in? Or you can say, hey, uh, your typical yard costs how much to maintain? as far as lawn maintenance. And they'll tell you. They might say 45, 47, 50 dollars. And then you take that number, you take the average number, and then you go out and do some yards and you'll start you'll start seeing where the sweet spot is at for you. So um that's how I actually figured out pricing and then uh, you'll start looking at yards and then you'll know, you'll start looking at these yards and you'll know uh, what you want to charge for the yard due to the square footage. You could go off square footage, uh, um, square footage of the turf. Uh, you could go by, if you do enough of these, you can just kind of look at the yard. Uh, if it's on a corner, you know it's going to be more square footage as far as what you gotta mow and edge and maintain. So you're gonna bump the price up a little bit. But I believe here in Blue Springs, um, uh, the typical price is roughly around at $45, which is the average. Now, if I go 15 miles out and hit Liberty, Missouri, you know, on that piece of paper that I showed you, they got the prices bumped up five bucks. So in Blue Springs, if it's $45 that they usually charge for a, um, a piece of property or turf, that's 5,000 to 7,500 uh, square feet of turf, they might charge that 45 to $50. Then if you go 15 minutes up towards Liberty, Missouri or North Kansas City, then it bumps up five bucks on the piece of paper that it showed me about the average. So you start to think like, okay, why is it five bucks more up that way? How come you can get five more dollars 15 minutes away? Well, you know, it just depends on 
you know, the economics of that city, that town, or whatever the case is, you know, uh, they might have higher earner, higher earning uh, customers up there, you know, as far as they might make more, they might have an average that they make more money up north than further down, uh, down um, in the Blue Springs or, or, or Lee Summit and things like that. So Lee Summit is high too. You know, if you go to Lee Summit, it's three to five bucks even more. And that's like right next door to me. So um, you just got to play with the prices and, and get out there and do it. It's basically all you got to do. But uh, yeah, typical average, go on Google, print out the sheets, ask a person, a lawn care uh, provider, hell, you can call them up and say, hey, I got a 7,500 square feet of turf that I need to maintain. How much do you charge? And they'll probably tell you, no big deal. And then you could go from there. Then you could take and you could kind of pinpoint the type of square footage of yards that you want to take care of and use that price point and start. That's the biggest thing you got to do. Start and then you can start figuring out your pricing and, and uh, uh, your cost. And then um, once you get that down, then uh, get out there and crush it. All right, guys. Um, that's my time. Like, subscribe, leave your comments, hit that bell button. Do whatever you got to do. Get out there and do whatever you got to do. But you better do it. All right, guys. I'm out. Peace.